This is Monday's devotional. Uh, I've decided to uh, try uh, to bring you uh, some thoughts from God's Word in this format at least three times during the week. I'm going to try to do one of these on Monday, Wednesday, and Friday while we cannot gather together in fellowship and in worship. Uh, also, I plan on having Sunday's video message, Sunday's sermon uh, from the Word of God up on Saturday night so that you can view it at whatever time is best for you and your family. I hope that these devotional videos and message videos will be an added benefit uh, to uh, your time together as a family while we remain in uh, these challenging days, not knowing when those days are going to conclude. The text for today's devotional is uh, chapter 13 of uh, Paul's first letter to the church at Corinth. Um, if you have your Bibles handy, you can follow along when we get to that text. We're going to be there in uh, verse 1 of that New Testament book from Paul, 1 Corinthians. Uh, the Apostle Paul, in the section of that letter that we're in, is in the middle of coaching this church about the use of spiritual gifts, uh, the giving of the gifts, and then the benefit of those gifts to the entire church. And he mentions that everyone has been given gifts for the building up of the body of Christ, and these gifts are important to the entire effort of the church, the fellowship uh, there in Corinth. He talks about these gifts in chapter 12 and in chapter 14, but sandwiched right in the middle of that gift discussion, he talks about something more important than these gifts um, that is used to bless others. Um, and he talks about love. So here we go. We're going to uh, pick up in verse 1 of 1 Corinthians chapter 13. Paul says, If I speak in the tongues of men and of angels, but have not love, I am a noisy gong or a clanging cymbal. And if I have prophetic powers and understand the mysteries and have all knowledge, and if I have all faith so that as to remove mountains, but have not love, I am nothing. If I give away all that I have, and if I deliver my body up to be burned and have not love, I gain nothing. And then Paul describes love this way. Love is patient and kind. Love does not envy or boast. It is not arrogant or rude. It does not insist on its own way. It is not irritable or resentful. It does not rejoice in wrongdoing, but rejoices in the truth. Love bears all things, believes all things, hopes all things, endures all things. Love never ends or love never fails. As for prophecies, they will pass away. As for tongues, they will cease. As for knowledge, it will pass away. For we know in part and we prophesy in part, but when the perfect comes, the partial will pass. When I was a child, I spoke like a child. I thought like a child. I reasoned like a child. When I became a man, I gave up childish things. For now we see in a mirror dimly, but then face to face. Now I know in part, then I shall fully know, even as I have been fully known. So now faith, hope, and love abide, these three, but the greatest of these is love. In the middle of our present circumstances, what a marvelous opportunity, I'm sure, I'm hoping you realize that what a marvelous opportunity we have to model love, biblical love, Christ's love to everyone we encounter, however God places them in our path, even while social distancing is in place. I might say it this way, that we have, I believe, more of an opportunity while social distancing is in place to make an impact for Christ's love because our focus is now on a limited group of contact, a limited group of people we contact or come in contact with. Maybe the, the contact is with a person in the medical field that we can demonstrate uh, Christ's love towards. Maybe the contact is uh, through social, a social media setting or through uh, a service person at a store where we need to get necessities, whatever, whether it's a grocery store or medical or a, um, a, some other type of store. Or maybe it's a person in the service industry th through uh, takeout food at a restaurant or the package delivery person, FedEx, UPS, or the postal service worker. Um, 
Maybe the contact is uh, just uh, a connection through uh, somebody via the telephone because uh, they're alone at a place and can receive no visitors and maybe it's just a contact in that manner. Uh, what an opportunity we have to be love and light, both with a capital L, to be love and light uh, in the setting that we're currently in. Jesus said this in John chapter 13, beginning in verse 30, 34, A new commandment I give you, that you love one another. Just as I have loved you, you also are to love one another. By this all people will know that you are my disciples if you have love for one another. What an opportunity we have to demonstrate such love and to give witness to the power of the Spirit in us as we model Paul's description of love, love being patient and kind and not envious and boastful or arrogant or rude or not insisting on its own way or irritable or resentful, not rejoicing in wrongdoing, but rather rejoicing with the truth, bearing all things, leaving all things, hoping all things, enduring all things, love never failing. I'm encouraged by the unique opportunity that God has given us in the midst of crisis to demonstrate love in limited social engagements as we can focus on what he is doing by loving others through us. So here's some simple prayers that I might encourage you with today. Um, in this moment, maybe you might pray, God, what are you up to in my life? Followed by this, who are you up to with it in my life? Who are you up to with it in my life? What might I do to demonstrate your love in what you're up to in my life and with whom you're up to in it? My blessings to you as our very creative God guides your heart with the love of Jesus through the Holy Spirit Peace to you, Pastor Scott. Now here are a couple of reminders that uh, I want to bring to your attention um, that I'll do usually at the end of these videos. Please keep checking our website, MaranathaBibleChapel.org, our Facebook page for updated video and information. Um, also, please keep an eye on your email as we may need to communicate some updates in that format as well. And for those who don't have email, we'll then pass that along through uh, the Postal Service. Currently, we have a very limited staff at the church with limited hours by New York State requirements. If you need anything, please contact the church so we are aware. Um, if anybody, uh, if, excuse me, if nobody answers, uh, please leave a message and we'll get to you. Um, but also, if nobody answered, please contact one of the elders at uh, the bottom of one of the correspondence we sent out last week uh, in an email and in a letter form. Um, and uh, that'll be passed along. Uh, to uh, who needs to get it. Also, please remember to uh, stay in contact with your small groups and uh, be engaged with one another, uh, helping one another in these times. Uh, we'll keep praying for you. God bless.